Alright guys, today I'm back with another video and I'm actually going to be doing a very, very cool um, giveaway. So all you have to do in order to qualify, just like this video here um, and then just click the link down below. It's going to be right there. It's going to be the Instagram page for my aviation account. Um, that's going to be the airplane I fly and I upload pictures and things. So all you have to do is click that link, follow the account, and then click done on the most recent post, and then you'll be entered for the giveaway. And I'll be doing all of the um, information about that at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Um, it's going to be really cool. So anyways, guys, here is the trick. All right, so to start off, you could just go ahead, you take the deck, and you can shuffle it up, right? And then the next thing you do is you tell your spectators that you are going to make a little prediction. So I have the deck, I promise you it's in my hand, and I'm making a small prediction. Now you go through the cards, and you say, okay, so I'm gonna take this card out, and this is gonna be the uh, prediction. And then once you've done that, what you'll do is you'll tell the spectators that you are going to have them tell you stop while you're dealing out the cards, right? So you take these cards out, you say, okay, look, whenever you want, just tell me when to stop, and let's say they were to say stop right there. So at this point, you know, you you know, you explain to your spectator, listen, you could have stopped me at any single card you wanted to, but you ended up stopping me at this card over here, and let's take a look at it. You show your spectator, in this case, it's gonna be the four of diamonds. So, you know, you tell them, listen, it's not a big concern for what the suit is, we just wanna look at the number, and in this case, you got a number four, right? So you told me when to stop, and you stop me at one, two, three. On the fourth card here, as you know, dictated by your first selection, we look at the card, and it's the ten of spades, right? Now, before we started the trick, I went ahead and picked out a prediction before the trick even started. And if you look at it, it's actually the ten of clubs. And the best part about this is no matter what, although you told me to stop, right, any number you wanted to, we still even managed to make another prediction just like that. So if you guys want to learn how to do the trick and um, are still interested in the giveaway, make sure to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so the good part is this trick is super simple. Um, all you have to do is take just a pair of cards. In this case, I'll take the two fours and I'll use those for the tutorial as well. And then these cards really don't matter. You can put these anywhere in the deck. And let's say we start off the trick, right? So what you have to do is you take a random deck of cards. You take one of the pairs, in this case, the four. I'll put that on top as well as on the bottom. So it looks like this. You have one on top and then one on the bottom. Okay, so then from here, the trick is pretty much set up. You can go ahead, you can shuffle the cards as long as you leave the four and the four on top and the bottom, and then the next thing you wanna do is you have to tell the spectators that you are going to make a prediction, right? So here's how it works. So you have the four on the bottom, and what you have to do is count to the fourth card. So you angle the deck towards yourself, and then what you're gonna do is count to the fourth card. So in this case, this is one, two, three, and then in the fourth spot, which is this queen of hearts, you know that, okay, the Queen of Hearts is in the fourth spot. I'm gonna continue riffling through the deck until I see the soulmate, which in this case is the Queen of Diamonds. Now, the only caveat to this trick is that it won't necessarily work if, like, let's say you have four here, and let's say you have one of the queens in this position, um, and you have two of them in the same spot. So I have the queen in the fourth position as well as a queen um, in the, th in the uh, in the third position. So if it looks like this, it's not really gonna work because you need the soulmate for the card to be outside of the first four. Okay, so now that we're all squared away, okay, we're back to normal. We have the queen in the fourth position and there's no queen before it. So then what you do is as this is angled towards you, you're looking for that soulmate of the queen, which is the red queen of diamonds. The spectator doesn't see this, you pull this out. Okay, but this is gonna be the soulmate. You put that off to the side and then from here what you do is you tell your spectators that you're gonna have them count to any sort of, or not count to a number, but just have you uh, stop, right? So you flip over the cards, and you just start dealing down, just like this, and then you wanna at least get those four cards down before they tell you to stop, or else you know it's not gonna work. So you just deal out a whole bunch of cards and say, all right, you know, just go ahead and tell me when to stop whenever you want me to stop. And as soon as they say stop, just flip the left hand over and put the deck down. So let's say they say stop, you say, look, so you could have stopped me, you know, anywhere you wanted to and at this point. You know, you've already flipped over this deck, which is going to allow you to flip over the four, which is on top, right? 
So you flip that over, you say, okay, cool. So you happen to stop me at the four. And then the next thing you do is you say, okay, so we're gonna use this card. And then what you do is you take this packet, flip it over, okay? And then four cards down, one, two, three, four, is going to be the soulmate to the card you predicted. Put it over here, you flip it over for the spectator so they can see as well. And then at the bottom right there, that first card you put down is the soulmate to this four. So at the end of it, you know, you can follow along with the performance and you say, look, so although, you know, even though we already put the soulmate here, um, you also manage to find the soulmates to the other card as well. So that is the trick, guys. And if you want to see how the giveaway is going to work, just stay tuned and I'll get into all the information. Okay, so obviously by the title, okay, it looks pretty crazy, right? I say free Bitcoin. So it's true. If you just go down to the link below, follow that account and just click done. Um, I will message the winner. Okay, I'll upload the next video so you can see who I pick. But essentially, you can either choose to get $10 in free Bitcoin, all you have to do is sign up for Coinbase. I'm not associated with them at all, I just really in, am into cryptocurrency and I want you guys to you know, see it for yourself. But you can either do that or you can click done and in the messages of Instagram, we'll figure out what you want. I'll also be giving away um, a deck of cards, a signed deck of playing cards from video um, on this channel. So it's all up to you, I just wanted to give you guys the option. So don't be shy, do that. And um, if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching and um, I'll be back with another video soon. Thanks.